Hello, thanks for clicking on the AkronNewsNow.com update today. I'm Lindsay McCoy, bringing you the latest local news. Day one is in the books in the aggravated murder trial of Ashford Thompson. He's accused of gunning down and killing Dwinsburg police officer Joshua McTearing doing a routine traffic stop in 2008. In opening statements on Monday, prosecutors said all of the evidence points towards an aggravated murder conviction. Uh, way, Defense attorneys really don't dispute that Thompson sure. shot McTearing, but asked jurors to consider circumstances that evening in July of 2008. Now you can follow the trial with AkronNewsNow.com today as it continues. Online you can find up-to-the-minute courtroom details in our live blog on our website. And today we begin an extensive series of reports on how Akron has weathered fire protection in the age of budget cuts. With part one of her series, No Time to Spare, here's AkronNewsNow.com's Tina Kaufman. Any cry for help that requires the response of a fire department can be measured against the National Fire Protection Association response standard, but it isn't required. The interpretation of fire response times can be confusing at best. Akron's fire department says they follow the national standard. An engine should arrive on scene of a blaze within six minutes from the call coming into dispatchers 90 percent of the time. An analysis of response times by Akron News Now indicated Akron firefighters didn't always meet that standard, but defining what situation constitutes a structure fire can produce different outcomes. It's also worth noting the fire department has disputed our findings. Now we've posted graphics and a spreadsheet on AkronNewsNow.com, which you can go and check out. Month by month breakdown of all response times for the city's department. And coming up tomorrow, you'll find out why every second counts. Lindsay? And we will follow her investigation this week. Be sure to check it out. It's over on the local news section of AkronNewsNow.com. In the Akron area, the housing market is looking up. The home sales picture brightened a bit for the Akron area and Northeast Ohio in the first four months of the year. AkronNewsNow.com's Larry States has the details. The Ohio Association of Realtors report reveals that overall home sales in the Akron area and a 15-county region in northeast Ohio increased by 35 percent compared to the same period in 2009. The average home sales price also increased by 12.9 percent. Buyers flocked to the market to take advantage of the federal home buyer tax credit program that expired at the end of the month, according to statistics provided by the association. Statewide, home sales increased by 12.5 percent over the four-month period compared to a year earlier. Larry States, AkronNewsNow.com. And it's going to be another beautiful day with highs in the 80s. We are so lucky. So as we look at our Akron area forecast, a high of 83 degrees today, mostly sunny skies. We'll only go down to 59 degrees this evening. Wednesday, 87. We're getting pretty warm tomorrow. Sunny skies, as we look at our five-day forecast, will stay in the 80s for Thursday, a high of 87. With mostly sunny skies, we do have a 30% chance for thunderstorms. On Friday, we're down to 79 degrees, but hey, that's still pretty warm. A low of 56, mostly sunny skies, and that'll extend into our weekend with a high of 70. Six degrees with sunshine. You can follow AkronNewsNow.com for the latest local news, sports, weather, and traffic updates 24 7, and check out our updates on Facebook and on Twitter too. For AkronNewsNow.com, I'm Lindsay McCoy, and enjoy the nice weather today.